Okay, we are all set. It's 201. Time having arrived, I call the special meeting of the Brockton Housing Authority Board of Directors to order. On behalf of the board, we welcome you. Chairman Timothy J. Sullivan, Vice Chair Ernest Pettiford, Member Janet Trask, Treasurer David Texera, Assistant Treasurer Carol Roberts. The Brockton Housing Authority will meet virtually on Thursday, October 14, 2021 at 2 p.m. Due to social distancing guidelines related to COVID-19 state of emergency, this meeting will be held remotely, not at the Brockton Housing Authority offices. The public is invited to view and or listen to the meeting via phone, computer, laptop, or tablet. To do so, download the Zoom Cloud Meeting app in any app store or at www.zoom.us. At two o'clock on October 14, 2021, click on and join the meeting. Enter meeting ID number 8716288305, passcode 033941, or use the link http dot double slash zoom dot us slash i slash eight seven one six two eight 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 three oh five you may also join by calling conference line one six four six five five eight eight six five six at two p.m on october 14 2021 and enter meeting id eight seven one six two eight 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 three oh five passcode zero three three four one followed by the Pounds Act. The board chair will instruct participants on the appropriate time and manner for public com comment during the meeting. <clears throat> Tom, I'm just gonna do the roll call for quorum and then you can do the regular roll call later on. Sure, thank you. This is the roll call for quorum. Chairman Tim Sullivan is here. Commissioner Pettiford. Yes. Commissioner David Texera. Yeah. Commissioner Carol Roberts. Here. Commissioner Janet Trask. Here. We have 100%. Now I'd like to read off the governor's COVID-19. Due to the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic and state of emergency on March 12, 2020, Governor Charlie Baker issued an executive order temporarily suspending certain provisions of the open meeting law, general laws chapter 30A section 20. Pursuant to the order, public bodies are temporarily relieved from the open meeting laws requirements that meetings be held in public places, open and physically accessible to the public. So long as measures are taken to ensure public access to the body's deliberations to adequate alternative means. Now, Tom, if we could. If we could all rise for a Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Item one, Mr. Tebow, the roll call. Commissioner Trask. Here. Commissioner Roberts. Here. Commissioner Texera. Here. Commissioner Pettiford. Here. Mr. Chairman. Here. Item two, approval of resolution 21-05, resolution authorizing the submission of an application to the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development for participation in the Moving to Work MTV, MTW program under the Landlord Incentives Cohort. Item A in the packets, Mr. Thibault. This is a uh, application that Mr. Pluff has headed up and has worked on uh, and done a fabulous job. So I'd like to turn it over to him to explain um, the program and to solicit your uh, support. Thank you, Mr. Thibault. Um, HUD has a program called Moving to Work, which they've had for a number of years. 
which allows a public housing authority flexibility in, the, in its programs, both in the way it spends its money and in getting waivers uh, on other certain requirements. Um, and they have, they've used this as a, what they call a demonstration program. So a housing authority can say, hey, we want to try this that's different outside of the regular regs. And then how do we look at it and say, geez, that works. We're going to change our regs so everybody can do it. Or oh, no, that doesn't work. So we're just going to keep it going the way it is. Um, right now, in three years ago, they said, we're going to expand the number of moving to work uh, agencies in the country, and we're going to do different co cohorts. And cohort four, this is the last one, uh, was appealing to us because it's for landlord incentives. And we have an awful tough time um, having our Section 8 participants find safe, decent, and sanitary housing, affordable housing, uh, number one, because our payment standards, uh, fair market rents are low, the hotness of the Brockton market. So what this is going to do, if we're approved, it will allow us some flexibility. So we can pre-inspect a unit so that, so a landlord is going to, um, if they rent to a, a regular person off the street without a Section 8 voucher, they can just sign them up and they rent and they, they right away. Well, we have to go through inspections. We have to go through government paperwork. And it takes about a month. And they're going to lose a month's rent. Well, this program will allow us flexibility where we can prepay, where we can pay some damage claims, where we could pay maybe in between two HCV tenants while this paperwork's happening. It allows us flexibility. It also allows us flexibility in our other funds, you know, because everything we spend, we have to do in a bucket. You know, Section 8 goes to Section 8, MOD goes to MOD, public housing goes to public housing. Well, if we have a need in public housing and we got a little extra money in Section 8, we can do that. Right now, we can't. But if we get moving to work, we can say we have a, a big leak in the roof at Caffrey and all our mod money's already spoken for. We could probably use some Section 8 money to do that. So that, that's the general program. And we're putting in for this fourth cohort, which focuses on Section 8, but also gives us the whole broad scope of moving to work. Um, designation. Um, as part of this, we had to do a very rigorous public process. Um, part of the resolution is, is that we complied with it. And I just want to go through it quickly. Um, we mailed out to every HCV participant a notice that we're going to have a public meeting at 1090 Main Street. Uh, we sent it out in English, Cape Verdean, Haitian, and Spanish. Um, we had the meeting, we had interpreters, we had out in the parking lot, we had so many people show up. Um, and for COVID reasons, um, I was there, we had staff there to interpret, we, we fielded their questions, their comments, they were very happy about it, uh, giving more flexibility and maybe increasing the fair market rent and uh, like that. We also, we had to have two two pre-meetings before we started developing our plan. The next one was because of COVID, we didn't want to have a, a general resident meeting, but we met with the RAB. We posted at the developments, again, in those four languages that we we're going to meet with the RAB, and we met with the RAB. Then, and we solicited comments, Rosemary's was, don't follow Cambridge, if you remember, Kelly. Um, then we posted a notice in our public housing developments and uh, published in the newspaper uh, and on our website that the plan was available, that people could make comment, uh, that the draft plan was available. And so we, we've had a very rigorous, we have one land, oh, also uh, Bruna Campbell down at the Section 8 department reached out to different landlords and said, hey, this is what we're thinking of doing. What do you think? 
and she got comments back from one landlord. So we had a very rigorous public process going through. Uh, it was all required by the HUD notice and um, part of the, the, these are all the, this is all the paperwork that goes with it. You know, every, everything that, you know, the sign-in sheets, the notices, the newspaper publishing and all that. So that's generally it, if we're very lucky to be accepted. Oh, and the, the kicker here is that you have to do everything right. You have to write a good plan. They say that they're going to do it by lottery. So if we make the bar that our plan is here, then they're going to pick one out of a hat. And I think they're doing 30 nationwide. But we, we, if we don't put in, we don't have a chance, right? If you don't buy the lottery ticket, you never win. So we're, we're, we're doing it. I cannot just add on to that, Mr. Pluff. Whenever he, Mr. Pluff said the housing authority, the housing authority, you, the five board members are the housing authority. So it gives you the flexibility to do things that are, you know, to address problems unique to Brockton. So it gives us a great flexibility. Tom and I can't simply start implementing things that are different from our regular policies. It would have to be something we brought to you but you would have the flexibility to say, yes, HUD's, HUD's regulation doesn't say anything about this, or we need a waiver from it, and we would like to do that. Right. It, it, the same as everything. We bring it to the board, and the board says, yes, do it. No, what about this? Let's do it this way. Yes. But it's quite exciting. There's one other thing that, uh, I, that Tom, I think you touched upon a little bit. Brockton has the largest disparity in the country between income and rent. We are the least affordable. The city of Brockton is the least affordable place in the country. Doesn't mean we have the highest rents. It means the difference between income and rents. And what's number two, Tom? It's been going back and forth. Uh, it, it, it's somewhere in California. Uh, I have it in the report, Costa Mesa. So re remember, we used to consider Brockton affordable. A lot of people would move into Brockton because it's affordable. I guess if you work in Boston and make a lot of Boston money, it's affordable in Brockton, but the incomes in Brockton versus the uh, rents in Brockton, it's the highest spread in the country. Tom, can you just repeat that again, that statement, the disparity? The disparity, the, 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 the city of Brockton uh, is the most expensive place, the, the, the um, least expensive, the, the least affordable place to live in the country when you define it by the disparity between income in the levels of rent. So our income is fairly low and our rents are very high. So, so Janet, um, this was a 2020 study by the National Low Income Housing Coalition. And so places like San Francisco or Seattle or New York that have very high rents, the people have the income to pay those high rents. We have a combination of lower wages, lower income, and higher rents. So that, that disparity makes Brockton unaffordable. Okay, thank you. Just so everybody knows, I asked Tom Plough, why couldn't this wait till next week? Because we have a regular meeting. And the reason is the HUD wants this application in tomorrow. It's due tomorrow, yes. Okay. And when, when we started doing this, back in the beginning of August, we could not have gotten our public process done by the September meeting because it had to be so many days between everything. And the, the plan had to be on the street for so many days before the, the board voted on it, so. Tom, what I was gonna do is read off the resolution so everybody has it. Is there any visitors, hearing of visitors in this meeting? There are not, Mr. Uh, Chairman. Was this meeting posted? Yes, it was, Mr. Chairman. Resolution number 21-05, a resolution of the Board of Commissioners of the Brockton Housing Authority, authorizing the submission by the Brockton Housing Authority of the application to the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development for participation in the Moving to Work program 
under the landlord incentives cohort in that Thomas G. Tebel, executive director of BHA, acting singly, or Timothy J. Sullivan, chair of the board of commissioners of the BHA, also acting singly, is each hereby authorized, empowered, and instructed to enter into all acknowledged, amend, and or deliver on behalf of the BHA any and all instruments and documents and to take any other action as may be necessary or appropriate in either of their sole and in continuing discretion in order to effectuate in co the consummation of the action described above. Whereas the Brockton Housing Authority, BHA, co currently operates both a public housing and housing choice voucher program under the rules and regulations of the Housing Act of 1937 as currently amended and whereas the United States Department of Housing and Urban Development, HUD, operates a moving to work MPW program that provides participation housing authorities with exemptions from certain rules and funding flexibility and how they use their federal funds. And whereas HUD has offered housing authorities the opportunity to apply for participation in the MTW program on the landlord incentives cohort as further spelled out in the PIH notices 2021-3 and 2021-19. And whereas the Brockton Housing Authority has policy goals to increase housing choices for its residents, including in areas of economic opportunity and to help its residents become more self-sufficient. And whereas the Brockton Housing Authority believes that participation in the MTW program will help to further its policy goals for the benefit of its residents and whereas if selected for MTW participation, the Brockton Housing Authority fully intends to comply with MTW objectives, statutory requirements in the MTW operations notice. And whereas the Brockton Housing Authority has confirmed that has, it has met the public process requirements required for submission of an application And whereas the Brockton Housing Authority states its commitment to implement the landlord incentive activities as discussed in our proposal, our proposed MTW plan and application package, now therefore be it resolved that the Board of Commissioners endorses the submission of the Brockton Housing Authority of an application to the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development for participation in the Moving to Work program under the landlord's incentive cohort. And be it further resolved that the executive director of the BHA acting singly or the board chair of BHA also acting singly and each here is, is each hereby authorized, empowered and instructed to enter into acknowledge, amend or deliver on behalf of the BHA any and all instruments and documents and to take any other action as may be necessary or appropriate in either of their sole and continuing discretion in order to effectuate the consummation of the action described above. <clears throat> we need a motion from somebody. Get a second. <coughs> you don't have to read the whole, the motion will be just to approve resolution 2105. Okay, move that resolution oh. 2105 be adopted as present. And second. 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 Okay. A motion has been made by Commissioner Carol Roberts, seconded by Commissioner Janet Kraft. Motion is to approve resolution number 21-05. Resolution authorizing the submission of an application to the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development for participation in the Moving to Work MTW program under the Landlord Incentives Cohort as presented. Any questions or discussion on the motion? <laughs> Hearing none, roll call, Mr. Timo. Commissioner Trask. Yes. Commissioner Roberts. Yes. Commissioner Texera. Yes. Commissioner Pettifit. Yes. And Mr. Chairman. Yes. Motion carries unanimous. I'd like to thank the board for taking time today. I know it was a special meeting. Um, 
Thank you very much. You're welcome, Tom. No problem. And thank you for all you did, Tom. Yes. Yeah. Is there any other business to come forward at this meeting? Hearing none, we need a motion to adjourn in a second. Motion to adjourn. Second. A motion has been made by Commissioner David Texera, seconded by Commissioner Janet Trask to adjourn. Roll call, Mr. Thibault. Commissioner Trask. Commissioner Trask. I'm sorry, I missed that. Uh, it's a, a vote to adjourn. Yes. Oh, or? yes. <laughs> Commissioner Pettiford. Yes. <laughs> Commissioner Roberts. Yes. Okay. Commissioner Texera. Yes. Uh, did I already ask Commissioner Pettiford? Yes, you did. I thought so. Uh, Commissioner Trask. I mean, Commissioner yes. Sullivan. <laughs> I got my. Yes, you got them all messed up. <laughs> yeah. You okay, Tom? I'm okay. <laughs> okay, I'm okay. Me? You're okay. Uh, Meeting is adjourned. Thank you. Thank you very Thank much. You. Enjoy the gorgeous yeah. day. Beautiful. Yeah. Thank you. Bye-bye.